I just came back from Long Beach. I was with my mom. Uh, went over there for a bit. Before I start talking, I just wanted to show this because this is so cute. It's Kuratama. Christmas Kuratama. Now, have y'all seen the, what's it called? The new, um, the new Gudetama movie. That shit, low-key. I ain't stop cussing. The new Gudetama series. It's weird, but, like, it's very interesting. And, like, I love Gudetama. But anyways. Bro, my bunny is back there. Do but, yeah. Um, there's some micro pins. What I wanted to talk about today, I was just in the car listening to, like, um, one of my favorite right now, I swore I didn't like his, what he was saying, his sermons and stuff, or I didn't subscribe to who he was, but I found myself actually resonating with a lot of the things he said. His name is Tim Ross. If you guys just want like spiritual, you know, guidance or help in your, your faith or your just being a better human being, check him out. Tim Ross. It's called his channel. It's called The Basement with Tim Ross. Um, really dope dude. He says a lot of like beneficial things that actually help me be the best me and unlock things within myself and just be aware but um basically what he was talking about which i'm just kind of i'm just going to reiterate in my own words what i got from it and what compelled me to come on here and talk was he was talking about how a lot of individuals will um drain you and like certain friend groups certain people will bring certain sides out of you so you might hang out with this one friend that brings out your fuck you might hang out with this one friend that brings out your happy bubbly side. Then you might hang out with this one group of people, friends, family, whatever, that bring out your gossipy side. They kind of make you, I'm not going to say make because no one makes anyone do anything, especially as adults. But they kind of, you know, I, I believe now like seeing it, your friends are you. So if your friend is a promiscuous, like scandalous liar, liar cheater, blah, blah, blah and you're kicking it with them every day, that makes you them. So honestly, that's why I've kind of stepped back. Like I used to think to myself, I don't have any friends, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I don't wanna be tight with someone that I'm not a mirror representation of. Do you see what I'm saying? Like if I'm hanging out with you every day and you're doing this, that, and the third, and you're not, I guess, you know, living in the most righteous or making the best decisions what does that say about me if my closest friends don't care about life and are promoting a lot of bad sh bad stuff what does that say about me the same thing if my friends a cheater a liar what does that say about me and i hang out with them every day who am i then you know what i mean it's very hard like for myself to be like oh yeah i'm this healthy happy loving person but i hang out with hateful you know uh, just people that are the opposite of what I'm aspiring to be and what I have built for myself because what I've realized too is I do a lot of work within myself right I do a lot of work within myself like when I wake up I use my day in the most case obviously I'm not perfect I do have days where I'm not maybe doing the most productive things the most healthy things but I spend a lot of time by myself simply because I'm trying to level myself up and just learn myself and fix things not that I'm broken to, per se, but just fix things that, um, you know, are kind of just hurting a little bit inside of me. A lot of anger issues I have, a lot of sadness. I need to kind of smooth that before I put myself out into the world. What I've noticed is when I spend hours and countless hours just, you know, learning about myself, doing things that help me be the best me. And then I go out and I hang around with people that are not doing that. It diminishes all the work i've done and it's like it, it it shadows my light keep here i pee pee it's my bunny but you know like if i'm doing all this work and i've solidified myself and i've made myself a strong individual you know i'm my habits are good like i'm i'm progressing in a positive way and then i go and start spending a lot of my time with people that are not on the same journey as me it's not good and i'm not saying this is, this video is not to bash anyone who you know is not me because obviously i'm like i'm me you're not me whoever's what like you're not me so for me to expect you to be me is just 
it's not realistic and I don't expect anyone to be me but I do have that choice and I have now as an adult I can set boundaries around myself to where I know okay I don't want to I don't want to gossip anymore I don't want to do like hardcore drug I don't want to do that anymore so what do I need to do I need to align myself my environment with the beliefs that I now believe about myself and my lifestyle if I say hey uh, I want to stop, you know, I want, I, like I told myself, I wanted to stop doing like drugs, like hard, hard drugs. I'm not even going to lie. I've dabbled with substances before. Um, it was never a full blown, pro full blown problem, but I'm at a place now where I'm thinking about future me. I'm trying to be a father, a husband. I cannot be on drugs, substances, and expect to be my best self, thrive, and be an example to, and lead my family. You know what I mean? So, what, what can I do? I can choose to surround myself in environments and with people that align with what I want. So, you know, I'm not going to hang around the people that are going out every weekend and doing this and that. And I used to get down on myself like, dang, bro, you don't want to go. And this is like, again, no shade to people that have different lifestyles than me. Like, that's cool. It's just we all like if and if you want to be a party animal and be promiscuous and be scandalous and be a liar or a cheater and just not care about people's feelings, that is fine. And you should surround yourself with people like that. You feel me? Like just surround yourself where you want to be. I want to be with people that are building healthy, happy relationships. I want to be around people and I'm going to be around people that are just creating healthy habits. You feel me? Like. If we're not all contributing to the same end goal, I'm not going to be around you. Like, but anyways, yeah. What I'm trying to say is Tim Ross, the guy I told y'all to look up, his point was he said something about gossiping, about how like certain friend groups bring out the gossipy side of you. And I realized like that's so true because like how I see it. Well, okay, when I'm by myself alone in my room, when I'm by myself and I'm not talking to anyone, I'm not around anyone, when I'm just with myself, I, I'm centered like I know what the standard is. I'm not gossiping if there's, I'm by myself. Who am I gossiping to? I'm not talking I'm not talking shit about anyone. I'm not judging people. I'm by myself centered Pierre I'm centered right Pierre got me over here like I want to talk about gossiping because I realized before I used to like it was kind of like the extracurricular activity like oh let's go smoke let's talk shit about so and so and and all their and their relationship problems and how they ain't doing this that but i'm like bro i am i have a lot to work on with myself like my energy can go into myself and my relationship um places in my relationships with my with my girlfriend with my mom with my dad with my friends how that energy can be poured into there. Why am I talking about somebody else that I'm not them? Like, I don't, like, I'm really disconnected from gossip culture. Like, I really am. And this is not, again, to bash anyone that gossips. I just don't like to be around people that gossip. and Because I find myself now, when they spark up a conversation about, oh, so-and-so did this. Oh, so-and-so is doing this with their man. Oh, so-and-so. I just sit there and, like, my spirit is disgusted. Like, my spirit does not want to engage, but I'm in the situation. I, like, now I'll usually just be like, oh, like, you know, like, I'll respond, but in the most surface level way because I don't like to, I'm not God to be judging someone else's relationship, how they do things, who they are, blah, 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 blah. And I used to be like that. Like, somebody would go tell me some gossip, some cheese man, and I'd be like, oh, for real? Like, I can't believe they would do that. But now I'm like, yo, let me shut up. Because a lot of the stuff that I say, I would never do that. Oh, my God, they did that? I would never do that. It could happen to me. I just haven't been put in a situation yet where it happened. But, like, I don't even say, like, oh, I would never. I would never. Because, like, Christian, you could. You, you could. If you had the same setup as them you would be doing the same jump and we'd be like no i would never do that you don't know that because you're not in the situation like i cannot say that i would never do that because i'm not in their shoes i'm not where they are i do not have the same life as them so why am i even talking about what they like in the first place like why even now when i get angry i'm really trying to like 
just tap in with myself and understand like what am I talking about why am I talking about it you know like if I'm upset with someone I'll keep it to myself pray about it um just talk to myself about it not even in a judgmental way or like Ugh. because when I'm like that when I'm like Ugh, gossipy like wanting to go tell my girlfriend or my friends like yeah oh blah, they did this to me blah, blah, blah. like I'm in such a negative place like where the gossip gossip does it no one is ever gossiping from a positive full peaceful at peace point it's it's negative gossip is negative what gossip gossip the word gossip has a negative connotation there's never no positive gossip unless you're like there's no positive gossip like huh and then bro when you realize how much energy you're wasting because my bunny is over here digging up anyways but i've realized bro when i gossip and gossip and gossip I'm wasting so much energy, so much energy that I could use to be doing something positive. Or like, bruh, if I'm really that worried about them and, and I'm, I'm gossiping about them and I'm talking shit about them, like maybe I should help them if, I'm, if they're my friend or if they're someone I like am close with. Like, why am I talking shit about them when I could be maybe guiding them in a positive light? Like, oh, and if you can't help them, just distance yourself from them. Another thing that Tim Ross said was like, we have these friends, these people that bring out these bad sides in us or that kind of like, you know, they like the like your gossip friend group or the drug friend group or, you know, just these friend groups where it's not what you need anymore to feel fulfilled. Right. Like, OK, the next question is like, so what am I supposed to do? Cut them off. And Tim Ross was saying, like, you don't have to cut them off completely, but just distance yourself with them. Like if you see them. You don't have to ignore them. You can still say what's up, show love, you know, come from a, p a place of love because yes, you, you know you know these people, you care about them, whatever, whatever, but you don't need to surround yourself with them 24 seven because if they are if they haven't changed, which is fine, you can't change anyone, I cannot change anyone. I used to try to change people, I can't change people. If I don't wanna be around these type of peoples or whatever, whatever, just distance yourself. You know, just distance yourself. So for me personally, now I'm just, I've taken a step back just from friends, family, just trying to realize what do I want? And right now, clearly what I want, like how I see it, I've really been just thinking about like, y'all could call me a square, lame, boring, oh, he's whipped, oh, I'm really putting my focus and energy towards becoming a amazing father to the kids that I'm gonna have with my wife and just being an overall leader of my household and a leader to lead people in the right direction like set an example because i've i'm a judgmental person i can admit that you know like i'll be like oh why aren't you why aren't you eating healthy oh why aren't you doing this you should be doing that you should be doing that but in reality it's like i don't even have to say that anymore right i've cut back on being so judgmental because i want you to do something but maybe if if i start moving with love if i want you to do to do what I I can't make you anything, but if I want you to maybe do more of the things like me, I should be an example. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like a parent telling their kid to stop cussing, but the parents cuss to their friends on the phone in the in the other room. You know what I'm saying? It's like you have to be an example if you want people to follow you. And I'm truly I truly truly believe God has put me here to be a leader. So it's like a leader is not going to dictate to their peer. Like a leader is not going to just command, direct, direct and not do it themselves. I feel like a strong leader, a strong man, the person, the man I'm trying to be, I have to just show by example, like period. Like there's no getting around it. And I realized that if I want everyone around me to be this f flourishing, thriving, shining, creator, creative, healthy, um, you know what I mean? Like just doing everything spiritual, faithful, optimistic person. I need to be all of those things and more. <laughs> Simple, like I cannot, I cannot dictate or command anyone to do anything. The only possible chance I have to get someone to get on my level, I hate saying that level, but like to get on my, I guess, path is to lead by example and then that's their choice if they want to follow because they like what i'm doing or whatever and i've seen this i've seen this manifest before so i know it's true like you know 
subconsciously like I want you know everyone around me like let's be healthy like bro let's let's do this life shit like let's do this like let's be our best self blah 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 and when I'm on it crazy like people it's like I inspire people crazy like you like everyone has this ability like if you want to change people bro inspire them inspiration is crazy like crazy like seriously bro like inspiration is wild yeah I've just realized that but um yeah this is I don't even want to say a new me but kind of, I, I do feel it. Um, like, this is where my goals are at now. I don't want to be the partying, drug addicted, unhealthy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be that guy anymore. I don't want to not care about my life. And I don't want to just be so, fuck it. Like, nah, I'm trying to really, really, really. Because I'm 22 now, right? And... I'm not even gonna cap. The topic of kids has like came up, um, not even just with discussion between me and my girlfriend, but in my own mind, I'm just like, you know, I paid. Well, I didn't pay, but God helped me to be able to freeze my eggs, so I have children waiting for me to defrost and, you know, and put inside of my girlfriend and create a family. So it's like, me having a family is not like a maybe. No, it's like something that I know is in the near future and. I do want it sooner than later so it's like what do I need to do to get there like to be a father that my kids can look at and like get all the inspiration and all everything they need from me you know like I'm not saying that this is not to say that my parents my dad my mom are terrible they did everything they could and it was more than enough I thank them for everything they've done but now I want to like double up on what they've done and I want to just be like the absolute leader. And I'm going to. I want to be the leader. Like someone my kids can count on. Come to. Cry. Like tell me everything. Like just be completely vulnerable with me. And I won't have a judgmental bone in my body that will sh like scare them away from opening up to their dad. Or I don't want to be angry and they tell me something and I yell at them. Or, you know, I just show just disgusting anger and I scare them and now for the next 40 years of their life they don't ever come to their dad because they remember that one time that I blew up on them or whatever it may be like I really don't want to have that for my kids not even just my kids but my wife like when I get married bro I think a lot of a lot of people see marriage as like oh yeah like we're boyfriend girlfriend now we're fucking like it's cool no we're just gonna get married it's gonna be like, nah, I, I see it as marriage. This is also what Tim Ross said, but marriage is basically like when you say I do, you're not saying you don't you don't even know what you're saying. I do, too, because you're saying like, yeah, so that do us part. We'll be together. I do. But you don't know the future. So it's like you have to get with someone and really have faith that y'all will be good in the future y'all will have each other's back no matter what in the future because y'all can't see the future but you're so confident in the relationship and the bond that you built that you're down for the future whatever it may bring i'm down and i've realized that so it's 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 a lot that comes with being married and having a family because yeah the way i'm trying to have the way i'm trying to live my life is very distinct i'm not saying that i'm a control freak and i'm like it's gonna be like this 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 because i'm not I'm done trying to control, control. I'm done. I'm done <laughs> trying to control things as well because yes, we do have control over things, but in the grand scheme of things, like things should be free flowing, not so planned out because it's life. And um, I'm not controlling things alone. There's also God, so it's like I can't uh, scribble down every single thing and how it's gonna happen in which order because I don't know. Um, I just know my intention and the end goal. I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but that that's what i know so yeah um yeah i'm like really really adamant on marriage and having a successful happy ma like family like happy marriage happy wife happy life happy kids just just like just peace bro just just simple peace like no i don't want i don't want my wife cheating on me i don't want to cheat on her cuz i don't i don't want to cause any type of turmoil that doesn't need to be caused like i want it to be pure just straight love like we love each other we're both human like you make mistakes i make mistakes but i'm here with you like we gonna talk through it and i think i i don't want any of my mistakes to be malicious it's just 
because I'm a human and I'm flawed, but I want to come with such love that it's like just like harmonious, bro. Like literally. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I gotta say. I don't know if y'all can see. Um, I rearranged my room. It's not 100% done. Um, but it's cute. This is my desk area. As you can see, I'm sitting at my desk. But yeah. And again, this video is not to slander anyone. Um, it's just me. This is really my personal diary. Because tonight I had a real recollection of just like what I want from life. And I felt like it needed to be recorded. So here I am. But yeah, I just want peace, bro. And a happy family. Like I'm cool off all the nonsense. I'm cool off all the temporary highs and like you feel me i'm cool off of that like i'm i'm so cool off of it i, I i'm so <laughs> i'm so cool <laughs> i'm so cool off of it like i i'm so cool but uh yeah <sighs> again i'm not god i'm just telling you all my perspective on how i see things but i hope that everyone just does what's best for them make sure that all the decisions you make are authentic to you you're not doing things because of outside noise because the world is very loud but that's where faith comes in where you got to kind of tune out the world and make decisions based on based out of love compassion kindness and god your relationship with god and yourself like what do you want what do you yeah just bro just make decisions that are right for you if you want to hang around gossip you ask people and be a gossiper do it you feel me if you want to you know Hang around people that don't do drugs and don't drink and don't smoke. Do it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, just do what's best for you. Period. And the rest will follow. But yeah, my bunny is, like, digging up the entire behind my little dresser thing here. So, I'm going to go get him and also get Rico because he needs to eat. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. Catch y'all later.